foremost, before we get into this video, I gotta give a shout out to Mr. Be Easy Forever, Be Easy Clothing Company, cause they sent me this uh, Be More Like Us hoodie like, maybe like two years ago, but it is one of my all time favorite hoodies. This is not no sponsored video at all. This is not an ad or anything like that. I just had to show them love cause they showed a lot of love and they continue to show a lot of love to the channel. So shout out to y'all, hope y'all watching. Much love to y'all, man. Y'all check them out for real. Now, um, We've all been, we all anxiously awaiting, what is it, 3.30 p.m. today? I think that's when John Harbaugh's presser is. And a lot of us are wondering, like, hmm, why was his presser delayed from 2.30 to 3.30? The World Cup is over, I believe. Um, they wouldn't push it back for injury news, would they? So I know a lot of us have speculated that maybe there will be some kind of announcement, whether it's G-Roll or no, whatever it is. But we'll, we won't know till we know, so we'll see. But... We did get an update uh, on the injury for Ravens cornerback Marcus Peters, uh, who got injured in the loss to the Browns this past Saturday. Um, Ian Rappaport said that the Ravens Pro Bowl cornerback Marcus Peters suffered a mild calf strain in Saturday's game. And while he likely misses some time, the absence should be a short one, source said. So... Both bad and good news, but the bad news is, I guess, good because that bad news could be badder, could be worse, it could have been worse, but the fact that it's not, especially uh, a player like Marcus Peters, as the Ravens gear up for what will hopefully be a nice little playoff run, uh, you need as many good players as you can possibly get, and while Marcus Peters hasn't been the Marcus Peters of old, um, it's, the Ravens are still a better team with him uh, than without him. Now, uh, Brandon Stevens, this, this, would, this is where the Ravens would definitely have to call on Brandon Stevens, um, like they did in this past game, and it was pretty quiet. I didn't really hear too much from him, which is a good thing. Uh, Marlon Humphrey will continue to have to do his thing, uh, even though over the past couple of weeks, well, not, not really last week, well, a little bit last week, a tiny bit last week, but definitely two weeks ago against the Steelers. Marlon Humphrey struggled a little bit, but he's still been, overall this season, it's been a great season for him. Um, Pepe Williams. Maybe Pepe Williams will have to get more of a shot. Uh, R. Darius Washington. I um, think they may. I wonder what they're going to do. Because Marcus Peters, I wouldn't expect them to put him on injury reserve. Because if they put him on injury reserve, then he would have to miss at least four games. Ravens only have, what, three games left? They got the Falcons, Steelers, and Bengals, right? Because they nine and five. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I feel like I'm missing somebody. Here, yeah, Falcons, Steelers, and Bengals. Yeah, because they, oh, yeah, they played 14 games so far. So, yeah, that's it. So, if they put him on injured reserve, and then if they made the playoffs, then he would miss, well, unless they got the number one seed. I mean, I don't think anybody thinks the Ravens are getting number one seed, though. But he would have to miss four games. So, I don't envision them putting on him, him on injured reserve. But the reason why I bring that up is because if they put him on injured reserve, that would open up a roster spot. So, but the, if the Ravens are going to add a corner, if they're going to put Ardarius Washington on the active roster, if they're going to make a move on the active roster, or they could just sign somebody to the practice squad, or they could release Ardarius Washington from the practice squad, and then he would have to clear waivers, and they, they could sign him back to the practice squad, and then they could call him up for the game. But regardless, Ra Ravens going to figure this thing out. I mean, they, they got no choice but to. But I'm wondering, who is, who's it going to be uh, that they call in for Marcus Peters, and just really for depth, too, because obviously it's gonna, this is going to be Marlon Humphrey, Brandon Stevens as the starting cornerbacks, but who else is it going to be? Because I don't envision them, because Darrell Worley, he's still on injury reserve. I don't know how many games he has left. I think he's missed at least two, um, so I think he has like two left. But um, I don't envision them just relying on uh, Pepe Williams, the rookie. Um, Jalen Armour Davis, he's on injury reserve. Harbaugh said he's done for the year, so he ain't coming back. Uh... I feel like I'm, I'm forgetting somebody, but I don't think so. Obviously, Kyle Hamilton, he's going to be out there a lot. Um, but as far as a corner, they, they're going to make a move there. I mean, they have to, right? So we'll see what it is. But I'm sure Harbaugh will talk more about that later on. And then they will make the corresponding move. Uh, probably, oh, they got to practice. Or, well, they're probably going to have the walkthrough practice tomorrow. Uh, and then the real practice on Wednesday. So they'll probably make a, a move uh, tomorrow. Um, and then we'll hear about it. So we'll see what it is. But anyway, I love y'all. I will catch y'all after that John Harbaugh presser at 3.30 p.m. We out.